For any Xbox or PlayStation codes or cheap games on any platform, use the referral link in the description. It'll take you to G2A.com. Use the promo code CHEZ over there and you'll get yourself 3% cash back. For all No Identity merchandise, hats, hoodies and t-shirts, follow the link in the description down below to the No Identity Fan Fiber website. Hey guys, welcome to episode number 12 of season 2 here in the career mode Road to Glory. We are dominating League 1 so far this season, although we had a little bit of a hiccup in the previous episode, dropping some points which closed the gap to those below us in the league. We have a 7 point lead over Portsmouth and a 10 point lead over Rotherham and Bradford City. We start today with a game against Rochdale, which I'm actually going to simulate and uh, that will be the first simmed game of today's episode. We'll then head into the FA Cup against Coventry, which we'll play. Uh, we'll then simulate the game against Leighton Orient in the Checker Trade Trophy, because again, as we reiterate, that's a competition we're not too fussed about. And then we'll play Shrewsbury and Notts County, both away from home, to end the episode. So, we'll start off with this game against Rochdale and see how we get on. Do drop the video a like rating if you enjoy, of course, and subscribe to the channel too, to make sure you don't miss out on any further content. It's a heavily rotated side, although there are a couple of first team starters in there. Uh, as you can see, uh, Volman starts in the midfield, Volman, sorry, starts in the midfield, but no goals after 20 minutes. I would like to think that we can get a win against Rochdale despite the weakened side. Hamilton in goal is just as good as Will Norris, so we should be able to keep a clean sheet. He says that as soon as Rochdale take the lead through camps after 48 minutes. Can we get an equaliser? I'd very much like to avoid a defeat if possible. Only 15 minutes to go though, and despite some substitutions... Oh, Jamie McLaren off the bench with a last-minute equaliser. We do avoid defeat. Thank you very much, my Australian man. That was fantastic. We'll take that. A point against Rochdale. We'll head now into the FA Cup against Coventry, which is actually the exact same fixture that Cambridge played in the FA Cup this year in real life. The only difference being that it's away from home against Coventry rather than being at home against Coventry. So hopefully we can come away with a 4-0 win the same way that Cambridge did in real life and maybe Luke Berry could score all four the same way he did in real life. It's Kelly way. Evans. Gets it back to Rose. Away. Into Lameras. Playing the ball about here, Coventry, but not really getting anywhere with it until now. Jones is in behind. Decides against crossing, though. Pulls it back to the edge of the box to Kelly Evans. Are you actually going to end up with a shot here, Coventry? Or are you just going to keep passing the ball around and not actually get anywhere? They have shot. Oof. Norris reacted very late to that. Surely he could have shifted his feet and just caught it. Unless it was blind. he was blinded at all. Well, there were a couple of bodies in front. I guess he had to wait and see if it took a deflection off Jake Clark's alter there. I let you off, Will. Right, corner to come in from Jones on that far side. And it's a decent one. And oof. headed over the top, took a deflection off Fulman. It will be another corner. Jones again to stand the ball up into the middle. Lofted very high and Folman again heads away. Now, is he going to take a touch? No, it's going to be a third corner in a row. It might be nice to actually clear the danger if we can. Oh, there we go. He's just chested that straight off the pitch. Track. Lozano's making the run, so I dink it towards him. I got caught there and we should get a free kick. May have been about to intercept that pass, actually, but never mind. The referee did pull it back, so we will continue on and try and... I could shoot here with Viedmont. He is right-footed, and I absolutely love this man. It doesn't matter whether it's on his left foot, which is a four-star weak foot, or his right. He just adores banging in long shots. The 21st minute, we take a 1-0 lead. Perfect angle for it as well. I had to shrug off the man off my shoulder and then just let fly. Oh, brilliant strike. That's a great goal. We are even better angle for the replay. Just so accurate. That's a wonderful goal. 1 0 Cambridge. It's Ricketts. Turns on it. Into Rose. All through to Sordell, who spun me well. But misses the target. Marvin, you've got to do better than that, my man. He spun the defender brilliantly, but just couldn't find the top corner. Did very well to work the opportunity, just unlucky with the finish. There's Rose. In there to Lameras. Oh, I thought he was going to go for the pullback. He didn't. That's a very good goal. Completely sold me. Completely sold me. I went to block off the pass back. So as he slowed down, I thought that was what he was going to do and square it to a teammate. He didn't. He kept going. Just there when he slowed the ball up, I overcommitted, and then he steps the other way and slots it through the defender's legs and into the bottom corner, even with two people still there, ready for the sweat if needs be. Terrible attempted tackle from Volman or attempted interception, but nothing the keeper can do at that close range. Very good goal. Coventry a level. Oh, Petrak 
Get it in there, and I want to help it on its way, looking for Navarrete. It's a great ball. Navarrete is in here. Oh, he's being tugged at by the defender. He's gone down. Penalty. There was at least one shirt tug outside the box. And then a second one inside the box. And it's that one that he's given. Or did he just trip him? It may have been trip, actually. Regardless of what the foul was, eventually, it has got... I'll let Navarrete take it, actually. Why not? You earned it, my man, so you can take it. He's only got 43 penalties, but we'll see what we can do here. I'm going to go top right if I can. That wasn't top right, Tez, was it? No, no, it wasn't. Penalty kicked straight at the goalkeeper. We'll stay at 1-1 then. Navarrete involved immediately after that, poking it through here to Petrak, who will fire us 2-1 in front anyway. What a strike. Absolute scenes here at the end of this first half. Miss penalty, Navarrete goes from missing the penalty to getting himself an assist as Petra with a wonderful goal. The standard of finishing here, my two goals have been extremely good and theirs was impressive too. Cambridge 2, Coventry 1 at half time. Finch into Rose who strikes that well enough but it's comfortable for Norris. Folman is currently sat off the pitch injured. It looks like he's getting to his feet to maybe come back on. I have made the substitution though so he'll be leaving the field of play momentarily and getting replaced. I hope he's not out for too long though. If he's able to come back onto the pitch and it hasn't like forced me to make the substitution then I'd like to think that he won't be out for too long. Petrak looks for McLaren here who is just onside. The shot is deflected and it's comfortable for Charles Cook at his near post. Just over 20 minutes to go. It was a poor clearance and Petrak can bring that down. Get it to Lozano. Got some support. Oh, Navarrete was too central, really. We'll go back here to Joel Mason. Mason will fire that into Petrak, who spins well, looking for his second and our third, but deflected and out for a corner. Those substitutions will go through now. And uh, Petrak and Fullman have both left the pitch. And if it weren't for Willis getting in the way, that would have been Lozano's goal. Lovely header there that you'll see here beat the keeper but cleared off the line by what looked like an arm, actually, by the defender on that replay. But handballs obviously aren't a thing in FIFA. Well, they are a thing, but it doesn't work very well, the handball system. So I leave them turned off. And that's going to be their throw. Never mind. 20, well, 17 minutes to go. Probably 20, including stoppage. We still have a 2-1 lead. Willis out wide here to Spence. There's really not much left in the game now. Cross comes in and it's a poor one. It wasn't the best of clearances though from Metz. Thankfully, Xavier gets in there and will work this away, but not far enough. Jones into Rose. Back there to Willis. We're in stoppage time. Not now, Marvin. Whew. He agrees. Not now. He shot wide. Marvin Sordell had their best opportunities probably in this game, to be fair, and missed a couple of very good ones. Now, if Lozano could just get the turn in there, I could have sent the man away, but it doesn't matter because the final whistle goes. We're through to the third round of the FA Cup. We will face, hopefully, some Premier League opposition and get some extra prize money. He says, maybe. We hope. We live in hope. But in the second round of the FA Cup, Cambridge are through against Coventry City away from home. Any shocks in there? I'm looking for some. Blackpool, Accrington, um, just glancing down, I don't really see any. Uh, no, no real shocks in there, I don't think. So, uh, we'll hope for a solid draw in the next round. Who will get, though? I'm not entirely too sure, but fingers crossed it's, uh, it's an interesting one. One that we can actually properly test ourselves with, maybe like a top four Premier League side or something. But let's go and simulate that game in the Checker Tro Trophy against Leighton Orient now. Right then, the area semi-final of the Checker Tro Trophy against Leighton Orient. I only played the first round. We've simulated every other game. We are, of course, current holders of this trophy. Are we looking like we're going to be able to simulate all the way to the final? We'll find out. A win here against Leighton Orient. He says as we go 1-0 down after 14 minutes. A win against Leighton Orient would send us through to the area final. And then we'd just be one game away from the actual final again. Which I would play. Because why would you simulate a final? Uh, I might as well play the final if we get there. It's 1-1 as we head into the final 30 minutes here. Joel Osoro equalised after uh, 30 minutes. Uh, 10 minutes to go. Colson comes on for Wimet. Chavalaran comes on for Furman. But... Is it going to be... Oh, no, into extra time. Sorry. Massey scores after 99 minutes. Late in Orient lead. Joel Emmanuel comes off the... Josh Emmanuel even comes off the bench. Oh, but we lose 4-3 on penalties. Oh, well. Not to worry. A 4-3 defeat on pens in the area semi-final. 
of the Champions Cup. Checker Trade Trophy. So we won't be able to fully defend our trophy, but we're also equally really not that fussed. We're into the next round of the FA Cup, and that is far more important. Up next, the game against Shrewsbury, and then we follow that up with a game against Notts County. Nice tackle by Metz. And again, poke that there for Jamie McLaren. Turn inside if I can. It's a great turn. Oh, look to slot through Lozano. Hit early. Oh, finish. I had to take that early because of the defender coming in on my right-hand side. And, well, Lozano didn't feel any pressure despite the closing defender. That was a wonderful first-time hit. Great turn inside by McLaren. You can see him calling for it. He's like, give me the ball. But the technique on the shot and the movement on the ball for the finish, just top quality. We really have found ourselves a hell of a striker here. Thank you guys for suggesting Anthony Lozano. He's been a revelation for us up top this season. Sadler drills that into Deegan. Goes to Sarkiewicz, but I tackled him and then seemed to back away from the ball and it's cost us a goal. I, I pressed tackle and my guy kind of backed in so that he was between man and ball and then just kept backing away and then did that. How is that? How is that a tackle? Turning into the man, backing in, and then just still letting the man run past you and take the ball. I don't know. I don't understand. Never mind. 1-1 one, one on the very, probably the last kick of the half, to be fair. Oh, that's a lovely ball through. Gore! Saved by Norris. They pulled me apart there. Really great move by Shrewsbury. Corner to come in. That's awkward. Navarrete has chested that behind for another corner. I don't want to concede just before half-time and then concede just after half-time if we can avoid it. Lovely little dinked ball there. And McLaren's gotten in here. Now, I'm just going to try and race away. And then when the other defender eventually comes across, then we'll play in Lozano and he will not finish. Brilliant. I don't quite know how I've messed that up, to be honest. Give some with the throwback to Viedemont. This Petrak quickly looked for Lozano. And then there's Navarrete. And the strike. Good save by Halstead. Got that five-star weak foot, of course, Lino Navarrete. So he can use his right just as well as he can his left. Petrak ends up... Two people end up on the floor then. Petrak stayed down injured. That's not good. Please get up. I don't want another long-term injury. We've just managed to get John Mason back at right back. And... Uh, Fulman thankfully was only out for five days, but he wasn't fit enough in time to be able to feature in this game. I don't want to then lose Petrak for a period as well. He's up to his feet though, so you can see via the mini map, and I'm going to get a free kick there as well for a foot in, so we can continue on. I'll probably take Petrak off though, just to avoid any long-term damage or any extended damage, and we'll bring on Dean. No, let's bring on Luke Berry. In fact, I'm going to bring Dean Furman on for shovel around as well. Two changes in the middle. Hopefully, it'll be enough to get us back in front. Into McLaren. He's trying to shake the defender, but that really didn't work that well. Furman out wide to Viedemont. Into Berry. Lozano's made the run. Lozano's in for his second and our second. No! I tried to place it in the corner and he's not put enough power on it. That's going to come here to Navarrete, who was onside. Lofted back in, headed away. Who's going to get to that first? It's Furman, but the chest control was awful. Eight minutes to go, and we are still drawing here. And now they're on the counter-attack, but... Metz has done well enough to slow him down so that we can get some bodies back and get a defensive tackle in properly. Mason to Navarrete. In there to Furman. I'm going to go back out to Navarrete here. Lozano can make that run down the line and has. Now I need to turn his side here the same way that McLaren did earlier. And oh, I just timed the pass wrong. McLaren was offside. It will go in, but it won't count. Five minutes to go. 1 1. Still the score. We've got a corner. Navarrete to whip the ball in. And it was whipped well. Up goes El Abd, actually. I'm going to try and pull this back to a teammate. First touch was actually brilliant. And Furman with a shot is well blocked. Oh, and he fell over. If he could have stayed on his feet there, might have been able to squeeze off another shot with him. But never mind. Giesemann will fire that forward. McLaren does well to hold up the, mount, hold up the ball. Lozano, oh, I tried to spin one way, send the defender so I could play McLaren back in for a second time. But it didn't work. And there goes the final whistle. A draw. Despite the fact we got the ball into the back of the net for a second time. Uh, it was rightly ruled out for offside. And it's a point we take from this game against Shrewsbury. Not exactly what we were after. Portsmouth only draw as well, though. So the lead at the top will remain seven points. Thankfully, whenever we've dropped points at the moment, Portsmouth have uh, deemed the right thing to do to do the same. So thank you very much for that, lads. We'll head now into the game against Notts County. And then we'll end the episode. 
Juan Delgado. Out wide to Rodman. Turns inside and then goes back to look for Hewitt for support. That's a very good cross. And O'Connor's head was on target. Needed saving by Will Norris. Not that many chances so far in this game. But what an awful throw. I was meant to go all the way out wide here to Navarrete. And he's just run straight to the Notts County man that was stood there waiting for it. Uh, yeah, not many chances in this game whatsoever so far. It's been very, very difficult to come by any sort of opportunity in front of goal at either end. But we might get one here. Get that back to Fullman. He does like the odd occasional shot from distance. But unfortunately, that one was well blocked by a Notts County defender. Half an hour on the horizon, the 30 mark, 30 minute mark on the horizon, but still no goals and very minimal opportunities for each team. Might be able to get one more here though, if Lozano can roll the defender, which he has done well, racing away. Anthony Lozano, always confident in a situation like that, that he's gonna bury it in the back of the net. And finally, we make the breakthrough. Cambridge won, Notts County nil in the 29th minute. Lozano is now the outright league top goal scorer and he's just added to his tally there with another extremely good finish. Fired into Juan Delgado, out wide here to Hewitt, the right back. A lot of their play has come down that right-hand side, but they're bursting through the middle now. And O'Connor with the early shot, but that's over the top of the bar. A lot of their play has come down that right-hand side through Hewitt and, uh, and their right side in midfielder. But that one going through the middle, but also over the bar by a good foot and a half. Notts County have created more opportunities, but we've created one and scored it. Petrak. Gets that to McLaren. Oh, can't squeeze it to Lozano in time. Oh, Petrak nearly intercepted that as well, though. Lost County getting a little bit loose with their passing. Case in point, they're giving that straight back to me. Us going 1-0 in front has rattled them here. And hopefully they can remain rattled for the rest of the game and we'll get a 1-0 win. That would be nice. Three points would uh, come in handy after the draw in the previous game against Shrewsbury. And so far, we're on course to do exactly that. Two minutes added on at the end of the half, trying to work an opportunity here. Lozano could spin in behind, but Duffy's done very well to defend that. And that's been the story for the majority of the game. They've, oh, again, loose passing from them, and then the half-time whistle goes. Story of that first half is Notts County playing very, very well, creating chances, defending well. They made one mistake, and we made them pay for it. Hopefully, we can hold on to this 1-0 lead until full-time. Navarrete with the throw. Petrak will get this into Lozano. And then, oh, where do we go here? Well, Jamie McLaren's there, so we'll get it into him. And, oh, I should have played the return pass. As soon as I hit shoot, I was like, I shouldn't have done that. Wiedemont with the early shot, though, but over the top of the bar. Oh, I hate that. When you commit to doing one thing and then another opportunity opens up in the process as you're pressing the button and you're like, oh, I can't cancel that now. Lozano will lay this across to, v uh, to oh, Fullman, who finds Wiedemont, but easy tackle. Second half so far has started the same way that the first went. Up to Lozano. Quickly down the line there. Wiedemont. Oh, lovely take. Brilliant first touch. We'll look for Jamie McLaren. That's not McLaren. That's Petra. That's Fullman even. Lozano quickly. That's Fullman again. Oh, good touch. Oh, what a goal that would have been. Off the bar. Absolute strike. Did that take a deflection? No, it's just a terrible first touch. What a strike from Fullman. The movement on the ball there was remarkable. We'll see a replay of it here. And it just wouldn't dip in time. Still rising, in fact, as it struck the bar. Great effort, but still settling for a 1-0 lead at present. Good header there. Get it out of my feet. McLaren could go again. No. Yes. No. Putting the pressure on. Will the keeper make a mistake? He nearly kicked that straight against Lozano there. Berry wins that header. Navarrete will look for him again, but it's actually Jamie McLaren that picks up the ball. And Lozano will look for Berry. He's only just come on. Luke Berry, the shot's well blocked. Can we keep that in? Yes, but we can't keep possession. Maybe? No. Well, a good move. A keeper very nearly cost themselves a, uh, an awful goal there. And they actually did that in real life. Not once, not twice, but three times. The last three times we've played Notts County in real life, Cambridge United, the keeper has kicked the ball down, or been charged down and kicked the ball against a Cambridge player that has then gone into the back of the net. We very nearly replicated that here, but unfortunately it wasn't to be. We do, fortunately though, still have our 1-0 lead, although that is under threat now with Isaiah McLeod in the box, but <laughs> with shooting like that, I don't think we need to worry for the next five minutes. Three points probably assured. Long ball forward, clearly resorting to Route 1 football here, Knox County, at the end of the game, but it's not working, and Berry's going to keep that run going. You can see him sprinting through. 
oh, can he get there ahead of these two defenders? He's trying his best. Tries to keep it down. Oh, he nearly did it again. Very, very nearly closing the keeper down and getting a deflected goal. We'll take the throw quickly. Viedemont squeezed that in there to Berry. Lozano's there waiting. Roll the defender. Oh, it was good initial footwork, but he couldn't quite find the space to get the shot off. McLeod into Burke. There's a man making a run on that far right-hand side. They're going to need to watch him, and he was about to be found there by the midfielder, but we got the toe in. Joel Mason trying to close down Dickinson here. Three minutes added on. Not overly long left for Notts County to find an equaliser, and they keep going backwards. Is it going to happen again? No, he got rid of it quicker this time. Fair play, win that Xavier, he didn't. And Lang finds the ball forward, but there goes the final whistle. So a win here, finally, by a goal to nil. Not the most chance-filled of games, although we had seven in the end, but we get the three points, which is the most important thing. Portsmouth, where are you? They drew against Barnsley, so they've dropped points again. So our lead at the top of the table will extend. What will it be? That's the question. The next episode will take us into the January transfer window as well. So let me know any suggestions you have in the comments section for potential signings. Of course, as always, do bear in mind that we have very minimal funds available to us. Our transfer budget is only £400,000 at present with a tiny wage budget as well. So... I'm, I'm going to have to sell on a number of players and hope that that raises some extra money. But I don't think we're going to stand the chance of uh, signing anyone permanently in this upcoming window. But we might be able to look for some pre-contract signings if I move everything into the wage budget. How much would that free up? Let's have a look, shall we? Free up a decent amount. We could maybe bring in one or two with uh, a wage budget of about 25000 We'll, uh, we'll just back out and avoid changing it for now. But that's the thought for the upcoming transfer window. But the league table looks as follows. We have a 10-point gap now at the top. 10 points over both Portsmouth and Rotherham. So as Portsmouth have been dropping points, the teams below them have been catching up. Rotherham now level with them on points, nearly behind on goal difference. Bradford still further four points behind. We're actually 14 points ahead of fourth-placed Bradford City. Now are 19 points inside the playoffs. Definitely going to get in the playoffs. Pretty safe to say, even at this halfway stage, definitely going to finish in the automatic promotion spots. I'd like to say we're going to win the title, being 10 points clear, but there's still another half a season to go and anything could happen. It could completely go, it could completely ruin ourselves in the next 24 games, but hopefully we won't. Drop the video a like if you enjoy. Subscribe to the channel too to make sure you don't miss out on any further content. I'll see you next time.